Hi everyone, in today's video, we'll be exploring the abandoned section of the Autobars West Hempstead branch from West Hempstead to Maniola. Rail service to Hempstead started with a branch off the Autobar mainline at Maniola on July 4, 1839. In 1870, the Southern Hempstead branch opened between Valley Stream and Hempstead, followed by the Central Railroad of Long Island opening to Hempstead Crossing. Returned to Babylon with a branch turning south to Hempstead in 1873. In 1876, the Central Railroad of Long Island was leased to the Elder Bar, and Elder Bar abandoned its own Hempstead branch south of Hempstead Crossing and started to use the Central Railroad's Hempstead branch. Three years later, in 1879, the Southern Hempstead branch was abandoned. In 1893, the New York Bay Extension Railroad Company. A subsidiary of the Elder Bar opened what is now the West Hempstead Branch between Wadden Stream and Country Life Press. New York Bay Extension Railroad Company formally merged with the Elder Bar in 1902. The West Hempstead Branch, along with the original Hempstead Branch to Maniola, was electrified by 1926. In September 1935, just nine years after electrification, passenger trains ceased operation between Maniola and West Hempstead due to the high cost of grade crossing elimination demanded by the Public Service Commission. Tracks on the West Hempstead branch were cut back to the Franklin Avenue crossing in 1960, and the remaining tracks were removed between 1967 and 1969. Freight train operation and non-revenue train moves on the line continued until around 1965. Our exploration was started at Maniola Station, home to the eastbound platform, According to old photos I found, the line splits off the main line west of the current Oyster Bay branch and will run along Main Street. That location will approximately be what is now the eastbound platform. If you continue to walk to the end of the platform, you will be on Main Street. So here is Main Street and the original Hempstead branch used to branch off from here. Um, there's not really any trace here since the third track project and I think since it was removed a long time ago so um, there's not really any remains here um, you can see um, I don't know what this is I think this, this was a rail crossing before um, but I'm gonna go down main, main street so see if we can find any more obvious stuff for the first section of the line, there is almost no trace that there used to be a rail running through here, though I later entered a parking lot and a road that is approximately on the old right of way. When I walk down to 11th Street, it's where things start to look obvious. Okay, so this place is locked, but this was the former right of way. I couldn't access the right of way itself since it was locked, but I found many of these poles on the side of the right of way which I believe has to do with the former railroad. Other than that, the right away is occupied by power lines, trees, leaves, and some trash. So at the end of the parking lot, you can see like uh, there's no fence here. So I can give you a sneak peek of inside here. Um, it's just filled with leaves and some trash. Um, there's power lines on the side and some trees on the side. But the middle where the tracks probably used to be. Uh, yeah, I think the track was in the middle. Like there's just leaves filled in it. Just a short walk ahead, and we are at the location of two former stations. Here is Stewart Avenue, and there were two stations that existed in the area, Stewart Avenue and Hempstead Crossing. Stewart Avenue station was located on the medium of the avenue between 923 and 926. The station was abandoned upon electrification. The station was built to replace the Hempstead Crossing station that existed earlier between 1894 and either 922 or 923, located on the south side of Stewart Avenue. Although I found no trace of both of these stations, 
There is still a lot to say about the Hempstead Crossing, since it was not only a station, but was where the Elder Bar original Hempstead branch crossed over the Central Road of Long Island, which was later known as the Central Branch. Hempstead Crossing was first formed in 1873 with the arrival of the Central Road of Long Island. In either 1876 or 1878, with the Central Road of Long Island leads to the Elder Bar, Connection tracks were added between the Elder Bar and the former Central Road tracks. In 1893, the Hempstead branch was realigned south of the crossing to better connect with the West Hempstead branch. By 1907, a northeast leg was added. Around 1927, a southeast leg was added. After the abandonment between Maniola and West Hempstead, the connection tracks were removed successfully in the 60s and the 70s except for the southwest leg, which is now used by the modern-day Hempstead branch. If you continue south along the abandoned right-of-way from Stewart Avenue, you will be walking on the northeast leg of the crossing. Return to Stewart Avenue and walk along 7th Street instead, and it will lead you to the center section of the crossing, which is now a parking lot. In the distance is an Elder Bar train heading to Hempstead, turning south on the southwest leg. In front of me is the former Central Railroad, now known as the Garden City Mitchell Field Secondary, a lightly used freight spur. These power lines were approximately where the tracks between West Hempstead and Maniola would have been. These tracks will cross over the Central Railroad in this area. Okay, so here I think, I think the tracks will go through here and connect with the current Hempstead branch. Continue south along St. James Street. After crossing Chestnut Street, you will be at the Country Life Press Station. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this was the old station house for Country Life Press Station. And the interesting oh. thing is this side, you can see that, uh, that open space over there, that was the West Hempstead branch um, before it was cut back to West Hempstead like uh, when it was fir first built. Country Life Press Station opened in 1911 to serve the book publisher Doubleday Page and Company. Before the abandonment, the platform would serve both Hempstead and West Hempstead branch trains, while trains between West Hempstead and Maniola would stop at the northern section of the platform. Hempstead branch trains will stop on the southern section of the platform. The original platform should be slightly to the north, so West Hempstead trains could use it. So if you come to the other side, um, you can find a entrance to the former right-of-way. You can see that the whole right-of-way is now used by power lines. And the current Hempstead branch is a on the other side of these houses, and this was the Hempstead, West Hempstead branch that went to Valley Stream. Okay, so um, here is not another crossing here. I think the rural one continues this way, I believe. Uh, let, let's cross the road and I'll see. Like, I'll figure it out. From here, a section of the right-of-way has been converted into a parking lot, and I found that some sections are not accessible to the public. Okay, like here, the right-of-way goes into this part that is locked, so um, I will have to um, detour and s go to the part that I can, I can see the right-of-way. Okay, so we walked to the end of Smith Street and here is where we can rejoin the old right away. Yeah, like, so it's that part that is like I cannot access because of the lock. But well, you can see here, here we can see the old right away again. So I'm gonna walk along it. So next to the right away now, there are some housing and that side, that, that door is locked so I could not go out. 
um, I'm gonna have to go the other way. But you can see now is here it's kind of maintained, and they put some grass on it. But like the power line, it was along the old right away. So clearly here, here was the right away. And that side was the one that we could not go through because it was locked. Okay, I got out of there. Um, so the right away continues this side. I'm going to cross over. I think we are around a mile away from Hempstead. No, where's Hempstead? So I think we are almost there, like one more mile. There's nothing really interesting in this section of the right of way. It's just the power line that is running along it with some trees and some grass. Okay, so from here it's not accessible anymore. So I'm going to detour and I'm going to go directly to West Hempstead and see what's there. Okay, so here we see the right of way again. And across from here it's the West Hempstead train station. So yeah, you can see the, the power lines going to here. And it, oh, and it kind of matches with where, where the tracks are. So yeah, and that... So that's, that's just the end of this video. We. We explored the entire abandoned line from Maniola to West Hempstead. Okay, so I'm going to take the train home. Um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to continue this series. And also, there's going to be other really cool videos coming soon. Okay, see you in my next video.